Well, ladies and gentlemen, we have some breaking news here. Uh, it's just blown away right now. Another leak has happened with Grand Theft Auto 6. The trailer leaked. The big takeaway is that uh, it has a 2025 release date. This is something I've reported on the channel before from Rockstar sources that this was not expected to be coming until sometime in 2025, and it has now been confirmed by Rockstar. Uh, this is something that they may have been teasing in a recent t-shirt that came about six months ago. That was another big revelation that Rockstar was actually teasing the reveal date for this trailer within that t-shirt. None of us knew about it, but it was around six months ago, and... Uh, it's just crazy how all of this has developed so fast, but the trailer leaked and now it has been officially released by Rockstar. And I thought we'd go over it frame by frame. We'll talk a little bit about what's exactly happened first, because if it's not clear, this trailer was not supposed to go up right now. It's like, what, 6 o'clock right now, Eastern Standard Time. It wasn't supposed to go up for like another 15 or so hours, but it leaked. Uh, it's unclear how it leaked, but the account that leaked this was on Twitter. It had like a big Bitcoin thing over the trailer, but it was abundantly clear. It was the real deal. And um, Rockstar Games, they were kind of forced into a corner. They just posted on social media. It leaked already, so here it is. Because they don't want people seeing a poor representation of the game because that footage was like in 144p and it was spreading all over social media. But it does seemingly confirm some of the leaks that have been going around in regards to GTA 6, stuff that we will be covering in future videos. Um, again, I'm going to steer away from most of the spoilers, so don't expect that on the channel. But if you are not subscribed, please subscribe. Going to have a lot of Grand Theft Auto 6 coverage coming in the future, just like I did with Red Dead Redemption 2 and Cyberpunk. Some of the best content that I've, I, I believe I've made on this channel. But yeah, here we go. Grand Theft Auto 6 Trailer 1. And again, I don't think we're going to be seeing or hearing much from Rockstar Games for a while now. I think that they are going to be going quiet and for obvious reasons because this game probably still needs a lot of work and the earliest we could be seeing it release probably spring of 2025 i'm personally thinking probably the latter half of 2025 we just know rockstar with their delays and they want to make sure that this is perfection so this is how the debut trailer begins i'll play a little bit of i gotta be careful because of copyright stuff with take two interactive they're very good about taking down any videos that feature like 15 seconds or so so i'll be going at frame by frame but I just want to say the trailer song for this just works so well, but you get the Vice City skyline in the background, you got a plane coming in, you got everything going on in this uh, this beginning portion. We'll go again, like I said, frame by frame. Let's see. Let's see. Okay, we got some vehicles. Also, I will point out that if you look very closely, we have Patriot. So it does look like we're starting to see the incorporation of some new brands here. Obvious stuff, but in some of the leaked development footage, we saw a lot of stuff that was familiar in Grand Theft Auto 5, and that's because, again, that was all uh, pre-alpha assets and stuff, stuff that hadn't been changed yet, and now obviously it has been. But we'll continue forward. Here we go. It looks like we're, we get a look at a prison yard, and that's actually seemingly like this is how the game is going to start out. And, uh, the person who is involved in this, you know, this jail part, it does appear to be Lucia. Let me see if I can fast forward a little, just a second or so. And yes, we get a look at Lucia, our first introduction of her. Lucia, do you know why you're here? Bad luck, I guess. And there we have it. That is our first confirmed look at Lucia. Not too different from the leaks that we saw uh, last year. Let's see if I can go back a little bit further. It does look like she's meeting with somebody from jail parole officer or something about to go out so very interesting stuff here we'll continue on not much to take away from this this does look like it maybe is a cutscene. i was actually very surprised just based on this i know it's only a 90 second video but it does it has more footage that i would expect like cinematic and stuff like that than usual from rockstar as they're really keen on just showing environmental stuff and we do get a lot of that here so we'll continue. We obviously get a look at some of the boat life, stuff that you would expect in Vice City. We see some of the wildlife. That is actually something I'm extremely excited to see, uh, especially because of how it was incorporated into Red Dead Redemption 2. Um, I do wonder if, what type of activities we could have with that. Based on some of those previous leaks, it did look like there was a lot of underwater activities that we could take part in, like shooting underwater, stuff that we didn't see in previous Grand Theft Auto games. So we'll continue forward. And then, yeah, we get the whole wildlife. Let me make sure this is up to 4K quality. And yeah, Rockstar Games did upload it to 4K. So yeah, it looks, I mean, my personal takeaway from this footage, it looks stunning. This is exactly what we expect out of Rockstar Games. See if I can remove the annotation. Yeah, there we go. 
Okay, here we go. Let's continue on. Play a little. Hey, yeah, look at that. These are the expected vibes that we'd get from Vice City, but it, it does look great. Uh, we'll continue forward. Again, we do see some of the more wildlife. We see, again, buildings that don't appear to be completed, uh, various ones, and I know the Grand Theft Auto Online community knows exactly what that means. There'll be all kinds of theories and whatnot about that stuff, but it does appear that this uh, new footage kind of confirms that leak that just happened the other day, the one coming from a Rockstar game developer's son, does appear to be the real deal. There really wasn't a question about that, but again, it, it is confirmed. We do see a lot of vegetation, a lot of stuff around Vice City. It looks different than what we saw like 15 or what was it 20 years ago with uh, GTA Vice City um, we'll con see if I can get this to continue there's some sort of sign I can't make it out in the background but I just I love the amount of activities that's happening here in this footage Rockstar games present we got a helicopter again more activity happening throughout just great stuff And yes Rockstar games is leaning into that purple a little bit And I will say the logo that we do get at the end is kind of surprising with how It does kind of match with a lot of the mock-ups that we've had over the years I just wanted to point that out before we do continue. It's just one of those things that I I was like I mean the colorway is very different, but the palm trees. It's very Standard it's nothing too extraordinary. I know a lot of people went crazy with all kinds of mock-ups over the years But it is nice to finally have an official logo for this game I do like the incorporation of various colors that you would associate with Vice City Maybe not so much the purple I guess if we had to say but we'll go back. Let's get back into this trailer Okay And this is another thing that was from the leaks a lot of you remember that I gotta be careful with the trailer uh audio because I'm pretty sure that it is copyrighted but this is another thing and this is also I think our first look at some of the outside areas from Vice City this is I believe the inspiration that Rockstar Games is taking from places like Georgia Louisiana and this is the stuff that gets me extremely excited and uh, based on who Jason seems to be more the redneck type of character in the game I'm sure that he's probably gonna have more missions and stuff associated with this this type of activity so we'll have to see though that's not for sure but uh, if you look very closely, I can't tell who's exactly on that, if it's both of them or whatnot. But it does look like they're going hunting, shooting some ducks or ge geese or something. Again, these are just some of the random activities. And, okay, yeah, they're shooting, what, flamingos or something like that, going hunting in the wild. But, I mean, graphically, this looks stunning to me. I know some people don't feel that way. They think this looks underwhelming. I don't know how you get that takeaway, especially because Rockstar is very good about showing actual gameplay footage in their trailers. And this probably is exactly from the build that they have right now, and I think it looks fantastic. And if you compare Red Dead Redemption 2's first trailer in 2016 to the one that released in 2018, the game looked a lot better in 2018. So it's only going to get better with time, and uh, yeah, this, this just looks stunning to me. Let's continue forward. But I do love a lot of the wildlife that we are seeing, especially because I wasn't sure we were going to get all of that, but... We do get a look at some of the beach life. We, I think the big takeaway you can have from this is just the NPCs. I mean, there's so much variety with how these characters look. You don't see any repeated models. All of them look very different in their size and, and everything. And uh, I think it's a perfect representation of what you'd expect out of a game here in 2023. Or, well, it'll be 2025 when it does release. But, yes, a lot of variety within here. And I do hope that we can watch walk down to these uh, beaches and see all of this. And uh, I do hope that there's some side activities and stuff to discover here. And there's also a little dog right here. I, th I thought that was pretty cute. But, uh, yeah, a lot of stuff going on here in this footage. you got the skis in the background. You've even got some of the police monitoring the beach and everything. See if I can. I gotta be careful with the trailer song, but yes. And then I think this is our first look at some of the missions in GTA 6. Some of the stuff that we'll be able to do. Water skiing, well not water skiing, but riding the boat around, some different boats and whatnot. And uh, yeah, the one thing that you will notice with this trailer, I'm sure a lot of you already had this takeaway, they very much lean into the memes about Florida. Florida man and Florida woman, very much uh, present within all of this footage. Yeah, we'll go through this, and uh, and then here we do, we get some of the, I guess you could say the slums of Vice City, I, I suppose. Uh, I'm not sure if that's the best description to make of this, but let's see. 
some very unique vehicles. I don't think we've seen some of these in uh, any Grand Theft Auto game before. Hopefully uh, a signal of a lot more customization options that we'll actually have in the base game experience. But uh, quite a bit of stuff here. A lot of color, I guess that's the best way to put it. And yes, for those who are concerned about Grand Theft Auto 6 going, uh, being very conservative with how it shows everything, no. I think this is from one of the leaked uh, clubs that we did see in some of the footage. It looks like somebody celebrating a party as they are at the club taking it in, and it looks a lot better than what it did in those leaked videos. And um, yes, Rockstar Games is very much not shying away from uh, the uh, action that happens here in this situation. Yeah. And then we do again another look at some different character models here. Uh, gang members, maybe. I I'm not sure. Rapper, I, I have no idea what's if these characters even have any importance, but there is a lot of uh, detail on them. I love to see that. And then again, another overview of Vice City here in the nighttime this time. And uh, yeah, the one thing I do, a lot of boats, a lot of different things, maybe a lot of opportunities to do stuff in Vice City. Not necessarily just the online, but also the single player components, but uh, looks beautiful. And uh, yeah, Vice City definitely not shying away from, I guess, the boardwalk, the infamous boardwalk from Vice City is still here. We also do get those infamous 80 colors here, the theme of it, these vehicles. And the cheetah, isn't, yeah, that's the same one from Vice City. So it's nice to see that they are remembering the roots of this game. Hopefully there'll be some other Easter eggs and stuff like that. I'd love to see Ken make a return. Maybe some characters from Vice City would be cool. Don't know if that's possible. We'll continue on. Again, another look at a different club, it appears. And uh, yeah, this looks like this is towards the... The Keys of Florida, I believe. Get a look at some of the smaller islands. I do wonder what incorporation of activities could be here or things that we could do. Again, I'm really thinking about Red Dead Redemption 2's open world when I think about Grand Theft Auto 6 because Rockstar Games did some very different things than they've ever done before in terms of exploration, in terms of you being able to find unique items and unique mysteries and stuff. And I really do think we're going to see a lot of that, especially based on the leaks which hinted at a lot of that. Um, but yes, we see that plane, another NPC, looks like they're dancing, the detail is stunning again, and then you can see the massive scale of the map as they are on top of this skyscraper, or this rooftop of this uh, apartment or something. And then obviously there is a Vice City sign. And this is the other interesting thing, the incorporation of social media. I'm not sure what this exactly entails. Like, is this something that we'll be able to look at our phone is, Lucia or Jason, or something we'll notice on TV? Interesting stuff. It says, I, Poppy, save some sugar baby for the rest of us as these people are taking in Florida. They're partying. And then we have, again, you just know there's going to be some crazy, stupid-ass missions, side missions with just... Florida man activities as this uh, officer is having to get this alligator out of this uh, pool here. And yeah, official poach, stay alert. VC, remember to check for uninvited guests before the pool party. Okay. And um, yep, just someone call the Department of Transport on the dump truck. Have a Vice City day. And then, yes, it does look like we got some street racing. I don't know if this is an actual activity we can take part in. I certainly hope so. It seems like it would be a lot more exciting than just the regular races that we've had in previous games, but definitely something to think about. And, uh, yeah, it looks like... Let me see if I can go back real fast. It, again, just more social media elements that I'm very interested to see how it's incorporated into the actual game. And then another situation in which we get a look at a camera view of an alligator entering a shop. Again, I just genuinely don't know how this is going to be incorporated. If there's going to be missions that we have to take on with this stuff. But it'd be pretty cool. Unless, uh, take that back, I do wonder if this is another thing that we could do to set up missions, you know. Just by doing crazy shit like this. You know, robberies and such with Lucia and Jason. And then it does look like we get a police takedown from a body cam. Interesting. And then, yeah, more Florida lunacy. Planet Leonida Man. Usually got to hit the strip club to see Jiggle like that. True. Um, and then just more craziness. 
Yeah. Looks like mud racing and stuff going on in this one. And then if you look really closely, you can see the this right here. It says Thrill Billy Mud Club. So uh, maybe another activity we can do in Grand Theft Auto 6. But uh, again, I do love the detail. I, I know I keep on saying this, but I really do think that you don't see this level of detail on characters across this industry, maybe from a couple of developers, but this is really some of the ways that Rockstar Games sets themselves apart from other teams. Uh, let's continue. And again, in a Neighborhood Watch, Don't Play Around, and Hamlet, uh, Lucha Libre fan. As uh, it looks like you got Crazy Grandma here. With hammers in her hand. Let me see if I can go back. Because we're about to talk to, see, take our first look at Jason, but... Looks like we have somebody being thrown through a... Okay, it looks like just drunken fun that these people are having at a club or a party or something. Yeah, it looks like an out outside club or something. Yeah, nothing too crazy going on here, but... The next clip, the next uh, frame that I believe is about to show up is our first look at Jason. We do see another sign says, Angsty Pain, It Cures Emotions. And it does look like this is post-robbery. Uh, we do see a mall in the background, a bunch of different places. Not sure if we'll be able to go in the mall. I imagine we will. Alpha, Scala, Collis. Not much we know about those yet, but we do see the cops approaching. Can't quite make out. I think this is Port Gellhorn cops that are showing up based on the colors and, again, based on the leaks that we saw before. Port Gellhorn seems to be another major uh, hub or city within Vice City or within the the whole state. And here is Jason. He does look a little different without the baseball cap on. I don't know if Rockstar Games redesigned his character a little bit. He does say some stuff, I believe, here. Let me see if I can take it back and... Back. The only way we're gonna get through... And there's Lucia. They just robbed, obviously. It looks like some were smaller. Again, I do think Grand Theft Auto 6, especially what I've heard, is going to be a lot of smaller scale robberies, a lot of less explosive stuff that we saw within GTA 5. Um, but yes, we do get a look at our first, the two characters, the two protagonists of the game. But um, let me continue forward a little bit. Yeah, there's Jason. And then there is Lucia, which uh, again, I've talked about this before, days after, not even a day after she was leaked along with Jason, she was already Rule 34, gonna be crazy how the Grand Theft Auto community embraces her, but yes, these are our two protagonists within the game. And again, Weasel News, no overturning zone, cop arrest man who flipped his car after Pee Wee's Dine and Dash, interesting that stuff with that. And uh, this is again just another East. If you, this is the same stuff that we've seen before. I'm not exactly good with my Spanish, but uh, confession, escrita, and tinta para tatuas. I'm not sure what that means, but I'm sure somebody in the comments will let me know. But this individual with a lot of face tattoos was arrested for doing something. And then we do get a look at some different bikers and stuff, and some of the rougher parts of the map. It looks like, as you can see, trailers and whatnot in the background. Dirt bike, dirt bags, cops fail to draw, stop thugs on motorbikes terrorizing Vice City, Weasel News. And then if you look at the background, patient wins Vice City Marathon, Leon Leonida, so Leona Leonida seems to be another area. Man sucked up in water spout demands the city buy him a new suit. And then here looks like another social media integration, High Roller's Lifestyle, High Roller Mag. Okay. And then here is another instance of, it looks like they're robbing a liquor store of sorts. Again, these are the smaller scale robberies that I imagine the game is going to start off with. Again, this has a Bonnie and Clyde theme. We see Lucia, we see Jason, and uh, yeah, they're sticking together. They are a couple in this game. And yes, it looks like there they are. They're escaping after a robbery before the cops arrive. And then here they are together again. Once again, they are a couple, and I believe we actually saw this shot leaked a long time ago again, another one, in which they are located, they're hiding out in this hotel, and uh, it does appear that we're going to be going all over the map, it doesn't seem like we're going to be stuck in one location, it'll be a little different than Red Dead Redemption 2, in which we had a campsite that we stood at, seems like they'll be on the run throughout the game. 
And actually, let's play it back and I'll play the audio real quick with that. Trust. Trust. Trust, trust. And the one thing about their relationship that's going to be very interesting is that based on those leaks, we did see that how their relationship develops could change. Um, it does seem like there's going to be some options of if we really want to have them stick together or if they're going to fall apart. I don't know if that necessarily impacts the endings, but Red Dead Redemption 2 had that really interesting mechanic of having, like, I think it was like a deer and a wolf. So if Arthur leaned into the more of the mean side, the evil side, he had that wolf pop up and it did influence the endings. And then you also had the deer, which was him really, you know, facing down and embracing that redemption arc. And that was the personal way that I played it, but I know some people played it a little differently. So I do wonder if we'll have that type of dynamic between the two. And then here we go. It ends with them once again robbing. Looks like another smaller store. And this may have been before, just beforehand, because it does look like it's the same vehicle. Uh, let's see. And yeah, both of them look very different than what we saw in the previous leaks. That could be their standard clothes. This one, they, again, they could have just been redesigned as that was older footage. But, I mean, it looks great. This does look stunning in many regards, in my opinion. The lighting looks fantastic, especially during this little situation right here. And the graphics overall look better than Red Dead Redemption 2 in many different ways. Um, yes, this is our first taste of the game. And then we get our look at the logo. <laughs> Turn that off. Here it is. I mentioned this earlier on. I wanted to talk about it. Coming 2025. And we'll be talking about this for months to come. I'm sure that Rockstar Games probably won't be having another reveal for Grand Theft Auto 6 probably until maybe late spring, maybe early summer. You guys know how Rockstar Games is with these. Uh, they go silent for a long time. And that's going to be the case here once again. But... Uh, yeah, Grand Theft Auto 6, we have our first trailer. We have, it's shocking how it had to happen, but Rockstar Games, you know their lawyers are gonna go absolutely crazy on the individual who leaked the trailer. They already actually DMCA'd his Twitter profile. I'm sure they'll <clears throat> find his identity soon enough and take action, but I think that this looks stunning. It looks very different than I honestly expected. There's a lot of uh, Florida man here. I don't think that should have been too surprising, but it is to me. But what is your big takeaway from this footage? I'm I'm kind of speechless right now just because I'm shocked with how, how this happened and how it came almost immediately. But it does appear that the game is going to start off with Lucia um, being in prison and then maybe she gets out. They She gets with Jason. I'm not sure their relationship dynamic there at the beginning, but it does appear that uh, she has a history with the law at first. And um, there have been leaks associated with her background and stuff that kind of do seem legit now, but who knows. Anyway, what do you make of Grand Theft Auto 6? This is our first taste, official taste, I should say. It's kind of shocking to even think about that we had an hour's worth of footage that leaked even before the official reveal. But let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. Subscribe for so much more on this game, and I shall see you later.